Hi, welcome to iFlip for Math, MathCast Lesson 8-4, Triangles. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and our quote tonight is by Colin Powell. He says, success is the result of perfection, hard work, learning from failure, loyalty, and persistence. And you know that my three favorite things that he listed are hard work, of course, learning from failure, very important in math, and persistence, don't give up. Remember Albert Einstein said, I'm not smarter, I just stay with problems longer. Our learning goal tonight is to identify and classify triangles. You can see Colin Powell's autobiography there. He was a very important general in our nation's history and, um, and has contributed in many positions in our national government. Our learning goals tonight are to classify triangles by their sides and to classify triangles by their angles. So essentially, we're going to be classifying triangles tonight. We're going to start out by classifying triangles by the lengths of their sides. So let's look at that first term, an equilateral triangle. Equa means the same and lateral means sides. So equilateral means same sides. So that's when all sides of the triangle are the same length. Like um, we were talking about in last night's lesson when we were talking about a regular triangle where all sides are the same length. We can remember that an equilateral triangle is that triangle um, where all sides are the same length because the bars on the E, think in an E you've got three bars. So look at that capital E. Am I doing it the wrong direction for you? I think I am. There's the E. Those three bars are the same length when you write a capital E. So all sides are the same length. Isosceles triangle. When I'm trying to spell that, I always spell it isosceles, but when I say it, we say isosceles. Saying it correctly makes you sound like you know what you're talking about. In an isosceles triangle, two sides are the same length. That's when you might have a long triangle like this with a base right here. And these two are the long lengths, and then this is a shorter length. That base is shorter. The way we can remember that an isosceles triangle has two sides that are the same length is because in a capital I, the bar on the top and the bar on the bottom are the same length. So those are two lines that are the same length in an I, or a capital I. A scalene triangle, that's where every single side's length is different. No sides are the same length. And if you look at a capital S for scalene, there are no straight sides. So we can remember that no sides are the same length. That's a picture of Colin Powell when he was younger. I like the way he looks in his uniform. He looks very devoted to his country. Classify triangles by their angles. So now we're not talking about the length of the sides anymore. We're talking about the measure of the angle. Remember, we learned about 90 degree angles, right angles, and that's going to be one of the first things we talk about right now. A right triangle has one angle that's a right angle. Now, what you need to know is that in every single triangle, two of the angles are going to be acute. Remember acute little angle, less than 90 degrees? Two of them are always acute. It's that third angle we're looking at to classify the triangles. So in a right triangle, that third angle is a right angle. In an acute triangle, all three angles are acute angles. So none of them will be bigger than an acute angle. They could be almost to 90 degrees, but they won't be. In an obtuse triangle, that third angle is an obtuse angle, a really big one. That means those other two acute angles are gonna be really small measures. So we have a right triangle, an acute triangle, and an obtuse triangle and we can use our knowledge of measuring angles and classifying angles to figure those out. Here are some things you need to know about triangles. Here are some things you need to know about triangles. Do I look like Colin Powell right now? The sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle will always equal 180 degrees. So if you have a right triangle with a 90 degree angle, you might have two other angles that are 45 degrees because 45 and 45 is 90 and 90 plus 90 is 180. No matter what, if you add up those, the measure of those three angles, it will equal 180 degrees in a triangle. Also, we can name a triangle by its length, the length of its sides, or we can name it by its angles. 
but we can also name it using both of those, the sides and the angles. If we do that, we list the angle name first and then the side name. That's just a little thing that makes you look like you really know what you're doing. For example, if we had an acute triangle that was also a scalene triangle, we would name it an acute scalene triangle because acute describes the angles and scalene describes the length of the sides. Here's our first example. That's actually Colin Powell. He's performing a rap with some well, some faint well-known rappers and he is doing it to help fundraise for Africa. So you know that I really care about kids in Africa so I appreciated that he did that and it's also kind of fun for you to see a different side of Colin Powell. He usually looks pretty serious. Name the following triangle using its sides and its angles. Pause it and push play when you've written it down. You can go back and refer to your notes if you need to. Did you write right scalene triangle? You can definitely see that right angle in there. Did you hold your paper up to it, the corner of your paper, to see if that was a right angle? And then you can use your pencil to check the lengths of the sides, and they are all different. So we have a right scalene triangle. Now we're going to do some more practice. Name this triangle. Name it by its sides and its angles. Did you write acute isosceles? You can see that all three of those angles are less than 90 degrees, so they're acute little angles. Isosceles means that two of those sides are the same length, the two pointy ones to the top. That base is a different length. An isosceles, remember, has two sides that are the same length. Let's try another one. Name this triangle using its sides and angles. Push play when you're ready. Did you write right scalene? This one looks a little bit different. It's a little slightly shaped differently, slightly different measures, but it's definitely got a right angle in it and it definitely has sides of different lengths. So it's a right scalene. Here's a practice word problem and a picture of Colin Powell in front of the White House. The measures of the angles of a triangle are 26 degrees, 64 degrees, and 90 degrees. Name this triangle using its angles. Now one thing you could name it by its angles and its sides. We'll see if you can figure that part out, but at least give me the angles. Interestingly enough, I didn't give you a picture of this triangle, but I want you to think about the measure of the angles, those degrees, and that should help you a lot. Pause it and push play when you've figured it out. Did you write right scalene? It's definitely a right triangle because it has an angle of 90 degrees. So no matter what, it's a right triangle. We know it's a scalene because it has totally different measures of angles, 26, 64, and 90. So all of its sides are gonna be slightly different lengths. If it had two angles of the same measure, then we would have an isosceles. That would tell us it has two sides of the same length. But in this case, it would have been a right scalene. I hope you at least got the right part of it. Right. Did you write, 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 write? It's time to challenge yourself. There's a picture of Colin Powell serving overseas, probably. If a triangle has one angle that measures 66 degrees and another angle that measures 57 degrees, what is the measure of the third angle? Use what you know to figure that out. Also classify or name that triangle and explain your answer. You're proving it to me. Come back tomorrow ready to check your answer in class. Finishing up, go ahead and review those learning goals again. There were only two of them. We were classifying triangles by their lengths and their sides. Oh, their sides and their angles. Excuse me, I know, push up. Um, write down any questions you still have. Make sure you write down if you're a one, two, or three level in your learning and totally cool triangles. You have completed lesson 8-4 triangles. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.